So before we start doing something new, I just wanted to show you how to run our web application um, and how to debug it. So this is, this is really important. I was actually having a conversation with a former software engineering student earlier this week who was lamenting the fact that um, he was still overly reliant on just a whole bunch of like log messages and basically print style debugging. Um, which is okay at times, sometimes, um, and not taking advantage of the debugger and breakpoints and stuff. And so that recommitted me and I realized, oh, I never actually showed this year's class how to do this. Um, I want you all to be so comfortable with the VS Code debugger that you never even think to do a console log for debugging. And instead you just set a breakpoint um, and do the stuff you wanna do. So in our router.js file, on line 10, where we're logging the path, um, that's the being requested. I'm going to set a breakpoint there on line 10 by clicking to the left of the number 10. See the little red thing that appears as I hover. And then if I click, it becomes solid red. That's how I set a breakpoint on a specific line. Um, and then the way we need to run this is not by pressing this button, which is very tempting but instead by choosing the start debugging um, menu item in the run, men run menu or by pressing F5, which is super easy. So you can just press F5 to start debugging. So when I hit F5 and I start debugging, we'll notice that um, the debug console is selected. So when we do a console.log, this is where it goes. Um, and we can see all sorts of good stuff, like um, we attach the debugger. We're using a node module code node mon. I'll show you what node mon does in a moment. We use that to make uh, us extra efficient while making changes to our code. So we see some messages here from node mon. It's starting, um, it's running the node command with server.js. That's our web application. The debugger is attached. Here is our console log message that we're listening. Notice that we didn't hit this breakpoint yet. Um, and in fact, we're not gonna hit the breakpoint until we switch to a client and refresh our page on localhost 8080. And when I refresh the page, now we're at this line of code where we're about to um, log the current path. And I can actually look at the HTTP request object and see all sorts of information about it if I want. Um, you know, like it's the get method and the URL and parameters if we're dealing with that and all sorts of stuff. We're just interested in the path here um, and I can see what that looks like. So if I step over this line of code in the debug console pane, we'll see the path displayed here. Um, I'm going to hit continue again um, so that things keep running. Um, here's the cool thing. If I make a change to my code, let's say I change this to say path requested. I'll add a space there because I like the space there. When I save this file, so I'm going to hit save, control S. Look at what happened in the debug console. Nodemon printed a message saying restarting due to changes. Starting node server.js, debugger attached, server is listening on localhost 8080. We don't have to stop debugging and restart. Nodemon does that automatically for us, which is super convenient. We just make a change to our code, and that new version of the code is now running. Okay. Um, it's almost like there's a, like a like features of some other programming languages that do this. Um, but it's super, super convenient. Um, so now if I switch here, again, I have to refresh the page to actually make the HTTP request. So I'll do that. I hit the breakpoint. Um, I'm on this line of code. I step over it and now it prints path requested slash. Okay. Um, so I didn't have to stop debugging. I didn't have to restart debugging. I can make changes and Nodemon um, manages all of that for us, which is Awesome. Um, so I'm just going to hit continue again because we have a bunch of other stuff to do today. So um, when you do run your web app, 
use the run menu, start debugging menu item, or F5, um, and don't click this button, which instead is the equivalent of right-clicking on the project um, in the workplace and saying run code, which just uses Node to directly execute that JavaScript file, doesn't use Nodemon to run our whole web application. Okay. We used that approach earlier when we were learning JavaScript because we were just running single JavaScript files. But now we have a whole project, so we want to run um, from the run menu. So that's what's going on there. 